So there is in Dubai this phenomenon of subletting rooms to other people. It could be for Airbnb purposes, for sharing your apartment with other people, so on and so forth, okay? I want to talk a little bit about this, highlight the key risks around this for you as a landlord, and also perhaps give you a few solutions to safeguard your interests so that the law is on your side and the people are also on your side, okay? Look, there is a link below, hit it, click it if you wanna work with our team. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Show us some other love in the comment section. Show real first. Hey guys, welcome back. So what is subletting or what is subleasing a property? Okay, I'm just gonna give you a pictorial uh, representation, okay? This is essentially speaking, let's say, the landlord, okay, who owns this property, okay? Okay, this is the property, okay? who then rents it to a tenant. However, he, this landlord who owns this property and rents it to this tenant also gives this tenant the permission to sublease. Okay, so this heir is the primary lease but he also has the permission to sublease a tenant. So if it's, let's say, a four bed apartment, okay, generally it's not four bed, he's allowed the tenant to sublease the four bedrooms to several other tenants, okay? Why does the uh, landlord do this and why does the tenant do this? Now, this, for example, in this scenario, Let's say the tenant wants to pay a rent of 100K. So the landlord knows he'll pay him 100K, but let's say the tenant ends up charging here 30K, 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 and 30K, which then essentially means he can make 120K, which minus 100, 30, 60, is basically the tenant can then pocket 20,000 dirhams okay or he's basically managing the whole situation okay now this is what essentially a sublet is okay now it, this sublease permission has to be in the contract in dubai okay this is super critical if the landlord does not give this subleasing permission in the contract this tenant is not allowed to do that okay number one number two there are certain illegal activities or there are certain activities that then fall under illegal or not fully legal in Dubai, which you, if you're a landlord or if you're a tenant here, should be very, very aware of, okay? So let's, I wanna just quickly change this a little bit. So, so we do landlord, we do tenant, and then tenant, 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 tenant okay so you sh so now number one is overcrowding okay if you have given permission to your tenant to have four more tenants in an apartment guess what that building that property might suffer overcrowding which then comes in some scenarios in Dubai it becomes illegal it's not allowed it's not encouraged by Dubai municipality which then any fines will come on to you okay so the fines will be levied on you okay so you're gonna end up paying fines small or major so you should actually check first if it's actually allowed where you are okay or you should put restrictions in the sublease so that maybe the tenants only allowed to rent it to two people not to three people okay number two if you sublet it or allow subletting actual illegal things could take place right i'm not saying they will i'm not saying they always do but hey if somebody throws a night rave party at that apartment 
guess what? Tenant's gonna get kicked out, but ultimately you're gonna be responsible, okay? There are a few other issues that come up as well, okay? So this is the law. You must be wary of the way the law operates, okay? Then other issues, okay, that you must also be, and then I will address them, and I'll explain to you how you might be able to make sure that these issues don't play a negative role in your overall uh, experience of... Um, so we're talking about the issues, okay? There are scenarios where money gets stolen. How? This tenant collected 120,000 dirhams, but because he's paying in installments to you, he's only paid you 60,000, and then he goes running away. If he runs away, and you don't get the money, but he was allowed to sublease, and now he took that money from these tenants, guess what? These tenants have the full rights to stay in that apartment till the time they've actually paid for that rent, and you're out 60,000, okay? So that can happen, okay? Number two, there's fire and safety issues, okay? So you gotta, as a landlord, really be careful. Too many people living someplace, sometimes, you know, they can maybe oversee fire hazards, right? The Home Owners Association, H-O-A-M. Home Owners Association Management. You need to make sure that you don't run afoul with them because they can levy fines as well, okay? Uh, the extreme wear and tear on the apartment, right? Like, you know, if you had a four bedroom, you rent it to one family, ah, the wear and tear is gonna be different compared to several tenants. That's pretty normal, but you know, sometimes you opt for that and that's okay. How do you do this if you really wanna do this? Number one, you've gotta play by the law, okay? How to, okay, this is the how to, okay? You gotta play by the law, understand the law completely, and don't run afoul of the law, like have the law on your side. So understand Dubai's law, speak to an expert, and then only do it if the law allows it. If the law doesn't do it, then don't do it, okay? Even if the law allows it, take a very large deposit up front, okay? Because essentially speaking, anybody who's subleasing is running a business now. They're not, in the, they're not renting that apartment on a residential basis from you. They're doing it on a commercial basis. So they, you have all the rights to now protect yourself, which is to take a heavier deposit, okay? Do a lot of verification on the person, okay? This, I'm not gonna call it a scam, but this stuff happens in Dubai. This guy runs away. Do a lot of verification, do home country verification as well if you can okay and if you do all of this then you're going to be in a better place if you're the landlord and you're subletting if you're a tenant and you wish to do this okay i'm not gonna say no don't do it make sure the same things apply the law and so on and so forth okay look uh, it is a business people do this on a mega scale in dubai as well last but not the least if it makes sense for you have a look at it but follow the advice in this video and then each case to case basis is going to be different so disclaimer i'm not a lawyer i'm not giving you full advice you've got to seek professional advice if you're doing this okay hit the like subscribe and bell icon there is a link below if you want to work with us don't forget to comment in the comment section ciao for now hey guys thank you for watching the video i hope you liked it my name is Fad Daud. i've been doing this for 15 plus years i started in uh, toronto canada in 2006 and since 2007 i've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.